Bonjour the internet. It is Saturday the 15th of July 2017 and why did I say bonjour? I'm not French. I'm not in France. I'm in Marrickville. But it is Bastille Day, the French National Day, and mybottleshop.com.au are celebrating by throwing a French tasting event. Now I know Bastille Day is technically the 14th of July, but that was Friday. Today's the 15th and Saturday. Don't argue it. So we're gonna taste all things French. We're gonna taste some aperitifs. We're gonna taste some cognac. We're gonna taste some absinthe. Let's head on over. Oui, oui, we're here. That's French for yes, yes. We're here. We are now here at mybottleshop.com.au. I've taken you guys here plenty of times. It is a French tasting evening. We have Mauro here. Mauro, how Hello. are you? Hello, bonjour. And he is the state manager for Sarabaco. And we have a vast selection of drinks we're gonna be trying tonight. Mauro, can you talk us through what you've got for us? So today we're gonna to do a bit of two of France. Uh, we're gonna start from Provence. And from Provence, we're gonna move all the way up to, um, to Calvados. Bit of two in Normandy, all the way down to Cognac. Armagnac, and we want to finish in Burgundy with some really nice French whiskies. This sounds absolutely perfect. So you've met Steve before. Steve. Hi there, uh, give us a minute. Steve's the owner here at mybottleshop.com.au. Yeah. So it's Viva la France. Uh, this oui. is for Bastille Day, which was actually yesterday, but yep. yesterday being a Friday, not a good day for having an event. Uh, we're going to explore some really unusual French drinks. We've got a French uh, whiskey, 20, 20 year old French whiskey. We've got a Calvadores, which I have no idea what it is. We'll find out tonight. <laughs> we're doing an Armagnac, which is basically uh, a cognac, but from the Armagnac region of France. Runquinquin, which I'm saying it wrong, yeah, but we'll, you'll, we'll find I had to say tonight, which is like a peat spritzer. So it's going to be a really interesting night. We've got some French uh, handmade pastries here, and I'm sure we're all going to learn a lot, me, me included. This is sounding beautiful. I'm looking forward to this. Again, another educational experience. Got to check out the website, check out the upcoming events. Steve's got a bunch up his sleeve. This is just the beginning. Oh yeah, there's a lot coming down the pipeline, I can tell you. Thanks, Steve. Thank you. I haven't introduced you to Marcus before, but Marcus works here at mybottleshop.com.au. Hi there, guys. How are we doing tonight? Marcus yeah. today has uh, organized these lovely French cause de vores. We've got some mini eclairs, all from a botany French patisserie called Crockenbush. They look delicious, they smell delicious, and they've got coffees and everything, so make sure you go check it out if uh, you're in the botany area. They look lovely. Am I saying it wrong? Are they hors de vores, or am I saying that all wrong? <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, first to coming along here. It's a little late to travel to France without spending much money. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna go for a few different regions. We're having a glass actually from uh, Provence, Ran Can Can. It is an aperitif, so it's an aperitif made with wine. So it's a wine based aperitif. Rin Quin Quin aperitif. Rin Quin Quin. Oh, I'm saying it all wrong. Rin Quin Quin. Wow, yeah. That's nice. Let's go straight to Calvados and uh, that'll be the Calvados Nick Negotier. So this is a digestive. 60% pear, 40% apple. Got an interesting name, Calvados. 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 I just like saying the word. I'm going to take this opportunity to taste a hors de vore. Wow, that was tasty. The French hors de vore. So the next one is a cognac. It calls Du Doignon. Cognac, uh, it's located about nine and a half north of Bordeaux. And uh, the cognac is divided by six different regions. They chose this producer, Du Doignon, to be inside on the most, ex most expensive bottle of spirit in the world. It was sold in Dubai for $2 million. Wow. This is the Dudenong Cognac. Pronounced correctly? Yeah, Oh yes, we have a winner. A winner that's peaked early for me. Oh yeah. Well, this, this region of wine production in 16th century. The English, the Deutsch, it goes down there to buy the wine. It tastes really good. They've got 10 years of wine. 
Did you want to try the Armagnac here before? No. no. And they've been actually distilling grapes in that region for uh, 700 years. So they're actually 200 years older than Konya. This is an Armagnac. <laughs> Armagnac? It's made with a slightly different grape from Cognac. So how recent is the buckle? Wow. Mm. I like the cognac better. Yeah. It's just my opinion though. Yeah. Time for some more sweets. This looks sweet and savoury. This is filled with custard. So good. This is beautiful. Oh man, this is the best ever. Okay, so now we're gonna have some whiskey. French whiskey. This is a whiskey. A French whiskey. Can you believe they've got whiskey in France? This guy, Michael Couvero, imports whiskey from Scotland, blends it together in sherry barrels, and comes up with this. This is my kind of whiskey. It's slightly smoky, slightly peaty. It's a combination of Highlands, Midlands, and Islay region. So I've definitely got that peaty, smoky. Oh, Michael, you've done it. Set excellence. I should be clear. When this Michael Couvert guy buys the whiskey from Scotland, he buys it unaged, so it's just that clear liquid like we had at the Jack Daniels experience, that clear stuff. That's why it can't be called scotch. Absent um, was created by a French doctor, Pierre Audinaire. He was uh, living in, in, a, in a Swiss this one uh, at that time, and uh, that's when he created the absinthe. This is absinthe, something I've heard a lot about in my youth, and I've never had any. Now we've been told that it has wormwood in it, which is something similar to the THC component of marijuana. Cannabis. However, the amount of wormwood in here, it's minimal. It's 35, 35 mil per bottle, so 35 mil per 750 mil. As we've been told, you're going to get drunk before you get hallucinogenic feelings from absinthe. But it is 69% alcohol. The offering here has been to dilute it, if you wish. I choose not to. I choose to have this flavor as maximized as possible, just for the enjoyment and for the experience. Absinthe. It's a French thing, but it was created in Switzerland. No, I've had it with Spoon. 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 Ooh, hallelujah. There is an aniseed flavor to this. And uh, wow, very herby, very. Um, oh, wow. It's. <laughs> Tastes a bit like sometimes when you're in the bush in Australia and you step on some kind of like a like a like um, a plant that you shouldn't and it gives off this like licorice. -y. This is waffle. I'm absolutely waffling here. Yeah, nice. I'm gonna take mine as it is. Okay. Yeah. That's that's Marcus's one. I just wanted to. The idea with adding the water is that it releases all the oils and it gives it a cloudier composure, complexion. I'm happy to try both ways. Ah, okay. It's very thick now. It's like a thicker... It's all okay. I mean, you can see how cloudy it is now. Yeah, yeah. I just tried it both ways, straight and with the, the water. The sugar melted. Like he said, it was a check flag. And you, you like the... Wow, you hear, you hear this? There's many different ways to have it. So you have the strainer and you put the sugar cube and you light it with the lighter. So the sugar cube melts and it kind of kind of gets caramel. And then you toss it in and then you add the water. This woman's actually French, so she would know. No, I'm Australian, but I just, I can speak French. Sorry, but I can Cancel that, French. she's not French. <laughs> I'll be happy to try that. You should that. taste it both ways, because I think it's nice with the sugar. Should we get a lighter and some sugar and try it? We're gonna mix it up and have absence three ways now. We've had, well I've had straight and I've had mixed with water. Steve with his one's gonna light it on fire, light the sugar on fire, caramelize it, drop it into the absinthe. Apparently this is the way that the Czech Republic does it. This is a Bastille Day event, French, not Czech, but we're gonna experiment. Why don't you do it on the dry thing? Oh, maybe you're right. Is it catching on fire? Oh yeah, it's on fire, look. Yeah, I reckon that. Uh, <laughs> we, we put a tiny, we put a tiny bit of absinthe. Anyway, we put absinthe. there's definitely some confusion going on here. I thought Maru said you either have water or you have the sugar. We're doing water and sugar. 
We're probably doing this entirely wrong. You have, like you don't use sugar at all and it just like burns off the... That's pretty fantastic though. This is the sugar burned and water added. And you get a as a result you get a... Oh wow, yeah, okay. The burnt sugar has definitely made it more palatable. Oddly enough, it's sweeter. So there's some absinthe for you. The first time in my life I've tasted absinthe. And if you want to taste this kind of thing, any of the events from my bottle shop, you have to go onto the website, mybottleshop.com.au. There's a little link there for upcoming events and you'll find out all the latest doings and ladies going on. Actually, you know what, I've got Marcus sitting right next to me. Marcus can tell us what's coming on. Hey guys, uh, well it's July at the moment and in two weeks we got, on the 26th of July, we got a Fiji and rum night. A what? Uh, really? Fiji and rum night, yeah. Fiji? I just come back from Fiji, man. This is awesome. Yeah, it's perfect timing because we're going to be having the Fiji rum co in, uh, who we're going to have uh, Ratu and Batty Rum. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah. And we're going to be trying a few of them and we're going to have some uh, Fiji yeah. pork shoulder right? on the... Uh, Smoker from our friends Rum and Cuba. Yeah, yeah. So you saw them at the, at the Jack Daniels experience. These guys were great. Yeah, so we're really looking forward to that one. So you've just seen some amazing French spirits. Maru has walked us through them. Maru, thank you so much for te teaching us about this extremely interesting history. I didn't know anything about this. I didn't know that there was a whiskey in France. So thank you so much for that. You're welcome. Uh, we're very happy when the... Uh, this is the whiskey in France. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you see how this is like a blend of three different vats from Scotland and then brought into France with Scottish water as well? That's, that's incredible. Yeah, it's a lot of work goes into it. A lot of passion for those producers. Yeah. But it makes that... You know how much I love Lagavulin and the peaty whiskey. This whiskey really strung out to me as peaty but not so intense. Yeah. So thank you so much. Nice yeah, to meet you. My pleasure. Now I've got to get out of here because it is Bastille Day and my French friends that I've met from touring Europe with Tracer have called me up and they said we want to have a French celebration with you. We're eating croissants and baguettes. So get home, get on Skype and we can have this great French celebration together. So I'm going to head there now. Oh, that's um, we're out of time! What? I know, I know, I can't believe it either. I keep running out of time on my vlog. But seriously, if you dig the vibe, please subscribe. You can check out my previous vlog here and a random vlog there. And if you like taking photographic photos on a photographic camera, you might want to check out my Lightroom 6 presets here.